He doesn't look at them as what limitations they have. He tries to engage them in all the activities. He just adapts them to make it work based on each individual's you know, strengths or what they're capable of doing. Truthfully, sometimes the parents, they don't know the capability of their own child and they want to kind of mother them and not let them uh, go out and do certain things. So I want to show them that they're capable of doing things. I do kite flying. We do regatta boats. It's just different things to get out there and get the kids and, and let them have fun. And I always tell the teachers, no matter what, what you're teaching, may it be adaptive PE or what, make it fun for yourself. If you make it fun for yourself, it's going to be fun for the kids. Like you swimming, Chris. Oh, buddy, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Tom regularly does something he calls reverse mainstreaming. I like to bring in the class and show them that they can do a game modified like this. We don't have to come in and modify their game. Come in and play a modified game and you will have fun with it. If I drop this, I meds out, he's gotta go back to the, to the beginning. My son has um, learned some appropriate um, age, appropriate behaviors, and is able to feel as if he has friends throughout the whole school, not just in the confines of the physical disabilities program. And I think for the general education students, seeing what Tom's students go through on a daily basis and how they still come to school with a smile on their face and they overcome all those obstacles, I really think it builds empathy and compassion. Tom's resourcefulness has helped his students get six Wii's, arcade games, and even two adapted bikes. The thing with adaptive PE, you're kind of stuck. You're not really in physical education, so you can't get really the funds that they get for equipment there. You're in special education, but really you can't get any funds there because that's mostly for books and things like that. It's not like we just come in and play the Wii. The Wii will be set up if it's in bowling. The Wii will be set up in a station for bowling um, where you'll bowl and then uh, a couple Wii stations will be set up and you will bowl with the Wii. And you're actually getting the hand and eye coordination. And with our students, some of my students are just able to move their hand. So um, to get them competing against students, general ed students competing on the same skill level, that's great. He is one of my best teachers ever. I like, I like him a lot. And this is like my fourth year with him. So since I'm like graduating, I won't like get to have PE anymore. And I'm very, very lucky to be in PE class. Indeed she is. For School Scene, I'm Sharon Sobel.